Sally Webster lit a Kulik, a traditional Inuit oil lamp, to bring light and warmth to the cabinet shuffle. Perhaps the biggest move, former Health Minister Patty Haidu becomes the new Indigenous Services Minister. Best known for her many press conferences during the pandemic, Haidu says it's a huge honour to be in her new role. And to work with Indigenous communities from across this country, I think it's a critical role in our government's efforts to further reconciliation. And I'm, uh, again, I'm just thrilled to be able to, to serve my country and Indigenous people in this way. Former Indigenous Services Minister Mark Miller slides over to Crown Indigenous Relations. One of his priorities will be around land. The relationship has been broken be because of land, land theft. Um, and it's time to give land back. And that's just the reality of it. Um, is that is it? Is, it's easily said. It's more difficultly done. On Monday, NDP MP Charlie Angus asked for the removal of Carolyn Bennett as Crown Indigenous Minister, and it happened. And she now heads up a new department, Mental Health and Addictions. But she doesn't feel I, like she's Carolyn been demoted, Bennett, and speaks fondly of her six years in Crown Indigenous Relations. I am extraordinarily proud of what we've been able to do as a government on the journey of reconciliation and from closing gaps to righting wrongs to being able to accelerate the path to self-determination this has been an extraordinary journey. Trudeau reiterated his commitment to reconciliation. While we move forward on fighting climate change we need to include reconciliation with Indigenous peoples in every job we take in every step of the way. However, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh said it is time for Trudeau to put action to words. Stop fighting Indigenous kids in court. Immediately make sure that every Indigenous community has clean drinking water. And truly, to walk the path of justice, we've got two really clear uh, paths that have been laid out. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission has the, the calls to action, and the Murdered and Missing Indigenous Women and Girls has the calls to, calls to truth. Let's see those implemented. Parliament resumes on November 22nd. I'm Fraser Needham for APTN National News, Ottawa.